All right, the steering on the 1135. I've had multiple videos on this. Uh, parts for that are just about obsolete. I've tried several different avenues. Uh, so, I'm going to go a different route. I'm tired of it leaking. Uh, yeah, that's some of the, just since I pulled it in here. Pulled the high lift tractor out, pulled this one in, and yeah. So, work on that. Here's where we're at so far. The steering linkage. Let's see here. Is that up? Right there. And that piece was connected to the steering box and the tie rod ends. This is a double-ended cylinder, just something off the shelf. These ball joint ends are off of a 2000 Chevy pickup, threaded in the end. So there's a, something else that's off the shelf, so there's a, uh, well they're kind of stiff, but so there's a ball socket at this end. And I'm going to take this rod, course take this solid adjustable bar out and put this tube with that tie rod end over this threaded rod with some threaded pieces nuts whatever it takes do the same on the other side and fabricate a mount this has two flats or bolt hole up and under the tractor. And I got a uh, bracket made. 3 8 plate by 2 inch. Hold the camera right, dummy. And uh, that raises it up. I think that angle will, this angle here, get that, will work better. Raising it up a little bit but it's about level with the top of the axle so when the axle pivots uh the cylinder won't get smashed and i moved it out away from this bolt just in case you'd ever have to do anything there and there won't be any obstructions make a hose to go from there up up there you go up up to now just sneak through this hole and the fittings are up inside of there for hydraulic pressure. Uh, this tie rod end had some goofy metric nub on there that fit. This is one inch fine thread. I mean it fit in there, it wasn't tight so I just decided to cut it off and uh, I welded a bolt on the back side there centered it up the best they could, welded that on. So that fits tight in there. I gotta cut that tie rod to length. Of course, thread this in the whole way. Cut that off, I'm gonna weld another nut on the end of this tube, thread it on this rod. Uh, get the tires straight do that to both sides and yeah hey well, tie rods all done I just welded a regular nut on the end of the tube after I cut that was on the end of there cut that off a good thick tube just welded a regular nut on the end there so it would thread on uh, the end of this tie rod. There we go. Everything's connected. And I can't get far enough ahead. I measured from tire to tire. Made sure it had a little bit of toe in. I mean, it is a high performance machine. 
I get just a little bit of tailwind in there. I went to town, got a hose made. I can get this project done. I got a feeling though that the uh, lines are going to be backwards. I don't know. I just have a feeling they are. Three eighths hose. Nothing fancy. GIC ends. Yeah. Maybe over that way a little. How's that look? Better? You gotta tighten up that SAE nut. Something up like that will keep that up out of the way. I hope. Hook it up in the other end. Alright. Got to let down jack stands out of the way. I loosened up them fittings. Hopefully get some air out of the system. I don't know. We'll see if that works or not. I got to wire that thing up too. What happened there? All the welds broke. Up there. Well, great. Alright, this is the next day. Uh, last time I filmed, I shut the camera off because all the brackets broke. And uh, I knew better to use the small MIG welder that I have to weld these. But I did it anyway and hoped for the best and well, it didn't hold. So I got out the stick welder and really welded in some big old gobs everywhere. I put a gusset on the backside. Uh, and I did have the uh, hoses were backwards from what it steered. But I wanted to use the tractor to spread manure and uh, I wanted to get it going. It was getting late, getting dark. Uh, wanted to get going on that, so. But it worked great. You see there's, well, a couple oil drops on the floor. That comes out of the crankcase seal. Uh, no oil. That's where they hook up the power steering lines. I connected to those. Hoses just run down to the cylinder. Uh, there's a little bit on those from where I turned them around. 
but uh, no, that's working good too. I can put that grill back on. Uh, it does seem to turn not as sharp as what it did. I'm okay with that because now it steers and doesn't pee oil all over the place. So, yeah, how to fix your steering when parts are obsolete. <laughs>